PAR is a, uh, a very much customer focused and, and people organization. Um, you know, we're, we're doing a great job of the last three to four years building up, you know, a, a really a culture that impacts everybody and involves everybody. You know, it, it is an organization that really puts people first, really puts its customers first, and to try to come up with solutions for them. You know, the, the daily interactions that we have, you know, within the organization, whether it's golf departments or, you know, customers calling in, you know, it's, it's really fulfilling. Um, you know, the, the camaraderie and the kind of the same type of language that we're all, all speaking and, and learning from. You know, the technology moves so quickly that if we can't evolve and adapt and, and have open minds, then we'll actually be, be sort of stuck doing something that was highly relevant you know, yesterday, okay? And yesterday could be two years ago, it could be eight months ago, and it could literally be yesterday. And so again, back to the people, we've evolved over time and we haven't left behind some of our core competencies. But the amount of change that we've induced into what we work on and what we're great at has uh, really moved very quickly over the last three to five years. I think the employee attitude working for PAR is that we're a family. So we're very family oriented. Um, you can see, you know, with our leadership, Karen Salmon is one of the co-founders' daughters. Um, then you'll also see, you know, when you talk to people, you know, there's veterans that have been there, you know, 20 to 30 years and more. And that's just not a couple of people. That's a lot of people um, that we have that have been there for many years. So when new people come in, you know, they get that sense of, you know, these people have, some of the people that we have working there have been, you know, with the company from its early days. Um, so I think the attitude that they see is very welcoming and, you know, they get, acclimated to the PAR family very quickly. Um, my experience when I started with PAR in 2012, I think it only took me a couple, a couple months to feel like, you know, I had been working there all my life. Um, so I think that's, you know, what I hear from a lot of employees that I talk to, um, a lot of new hires that I talk to that have been, uh, you know, only there for three months and how, you know, welcome they felt by everybody. We're really focusing on con you know, a concept called conscious cap capitalism. Um, you know, where, where you're, you're not, not necessarily worried about the profits of the company, you're, you're more worried about, you know, how you're impacting the, the you know, the environment, how you're impacting um, your communities, um, how is PAR out there seen in the world and seen through the eyes of people that either purchase PAR products, uh, know who PAR is as a company. Well, I think PAR has quite a legacy. I mean, we've, we've been around since, um, I think the late 60s, um, early 70s, we started out um, with our government subsidiary and then branched out to our restaurant and retail subsidiary with the point of sale system. So um, the co-founders, you know, Charlie Constantino and John, Dr. John Salmon, you know, they really had this vision and they, you know, they stuck with it so long and they're so passionate about it and they're still involved in PAR and, you know, just keeping our, keeping the dream going. I think um, is part of our legacy that we that we have and that they'll continue on. Um, I think they're one of the bigger um, employers in the area, and I, I know when you know I talk to people and they I tell them I work at Par, they they always have a smile on their face. They're like, oh yeah, you know my brother-in-law worked for Par, or my my sister worked for Par back in the day and loved it, and you know that's the kind of legacy I feel like we have in the community. So I think it's a really good thing. We building that legacy. How are how how is Par you know going to um, be a conscious company where you know we're looking at you know making decisions based on you know products and where they're made and you know products and how they're made um, you know and, and you know the impacts to, to the different levels of our vendors um, you know looking at the whole ecosystem and all of our stakeholders um, at Par. I'm deeply honored to be part of PAR and to receive this acknowledgement and recognition. I think uh, it's a little bit uh, inspiring for us and I think it'll only, you know, sort of cement our sense of purpose to be a part of a community and, and to partner with, with everybody from uh, academia to government to, uh, to the population. Thank you.